Hey, my name is Jonathan Ng from South Coast Swords, and today I'm trying to attempt to do a 100 cuts cutting challenge. So instead of just simply doing cuts in the air, these cuts have to be quality enough to be able to go through a medium. And for this challenge, I'm using clay. And I have two sets of clay, about 50 pounds each, that I bought off of Amazon. Clay is a pretty good cutting medium because you can reuse it as much as you like and they're not too hard to store or maintain and it's very easy to adjust the difficulty by just simply adding or taking away more clay. So something I've noticed, especially from people who've been doing swords for a while, is that after you've learned the basic actions and you're practicing them again, it's very easy to just kind of go through the motions and kind of lose sight of what you're originally trying to practice, which is to do quality cuts. Cuts that would actually mean something, as such as going through a potential target or a person that you're aiming at. So for this challenge that I have set for myself, I have to at least cut through about 6 inches of play. It has to pass through the medium and create a new line. Starting off, I wasn't sure how hard this challenge was actually going to be. The second cuts and other basic cuts are not particularly difficult, it's just I never had to do so many of these in this kind of context. And also that there is a factor of resetting the play every time. As you see, I'm going through these first couple of cuts pretty easily with very little difficulty. Right now I'm just trying to be consistent with my cuts, I'm trying to make them nice and clean as they go through. And right now I'm trying to get about 5 cut per block. Whoop, I just completely whipped it right there. And you might notice I'm starting to show signs of getting tired. I'm starting to lose focus as my distance and targeting is off and my stance is less grounded. My fatigue is starting to set in as I have to reset the clay. It takes me about 3 to 5 minutes, which involves picking up and dropping them and picking up and dropping these 50 pounds of clay and trying to make them a nice suitable rectangular shape so I can cut. And less rectangular, and more like a log glob. And with a spurt of determination, I pull off a decent set of five cuts. Right now I'm just kind of swinging wildly because I'm just at my wit's end. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I don't think I've eaten breakfast yet. And this was a lot harder than I was anticipating. I was expecting that to be done by now. I've been cutting for well over half an hour. And with no real breaks, I've just been cutting and resetting the next set, cutting and resetting the next set. And, you know, it's taking a toll on me, especially on my back, because I'm just slamming these pieces of clay on the ground and yeah, it's also hot. And I went to go check on my camera to see how it's doing, and I noticed that it's been off. I was like, oh no, I have no idea how much or how little that I've lost in the footage. So in the end, I, had, I told myself I had to do a couple extra cuts just to make sure that I made it to the 100.
now I've started to change strategies where I'm trying to get as many cuts possible on one set of clay so I don't have to reset the clay as many times. I'm very tired. And I've switched over to doing more horizontal cuts in the hope that if I cut it cleanly enough, the sword will just pass right through it and the top will stay on. And with that, I can do more cuts with it. Oh, except for that bit. But right now I'm starting to lose focus and my cutting is all over the place. But every once in a while I get something good. These two and I just kind of lift, lift up the clay to show that these are two new lines, three new lines on the clay. Now I'm just taking a shortcut of doing some descending cuts because all my previous cuts on the, on the clay was horizontal, so these are all new lines, as you can see. And I'm trying really hard to avoid having to reset the clay. And at this point, I'm absolutely exhausted. Just every time I have to pick up and drop and reset the clay, I have to reconsider my life and then back at it again. At this point, most likely, I've already made my 100 cuts, but because I had my camera cut, I have no idea where I actually am, so I'm just doing a bunch and doing a bunch more. That one didn't look like it. That one actually cut through. So I can go over and show it off to the camera that there's still a clean layer underneath. And hooray! I made it to 100, but Film Jonathan doesn't know that, so he keeps going. Just keep it on trucking, wishing everything would end. So tired. So very, very tired. Well, all in all, this was a fun experiment where I was just trying to see if I can do it, and well, apparently I could. It was pretty difficult, but it was fun. I got to learn a lot, I got to see what my limits are, being in a state of absolute exhaustion, but still trying to make some kind of quality cut. And I'm not trying to say that these were great cuts and that these were top-notch or anything, but at least they would do something. And, you know, I, I really enjoy this. Probably will try to do something like this again soon in the future. And I encourage anyone else who's thinking about it to give it a try themselves. And even though I use clay, use whatever you have readily available to you, whether it be water bottles or paper or whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.